Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ted and from today I'm going to start a series of videos on quantitative search analysis. So in this first video we will talk about Kronba Alpha. Uh, Kronba Alpha is an indicator of consistency. It measures how closely related a set of items are as a group. It is most commonly used when you have multiple Likert scale questions. In a survey or questionnaire and you wish to determine if the scale is reliable. The Gronda alpha value can be from 0 to 1. 0 represents no consistency between items and 1 represents perfect consistency. The general rule of thumb is that a Gronda alpha of 0 0.70 and above is good, 0 0.80 and above is better, and 0 0.90 and above is considered as best. Uh, this is the basic formula to calculate Kronba alpha. I will not go into the detail of this formula. This is just for the information because we will calculate the Kronba alpha value using SPSS. So let's go to SPSS. So this is the just uh, data we have. These are the demographic variables, and then we have the items related to different constructs. The first construct is transfer of training, which consists of six items. So we will go to the option analyze. So you can see here the multiple options. Just go to analyze, then scale, and then just click the option reliability analysis. So here you can just drag all six items of transfer of training and just OK. So this will, the, will be the output you can see is the current alpha value and these are the number of items. But here a question is if our current alpha value is less than the threshold value which is usually considered as 0.7. So what option we can use? So here, just go again, analyze, scale, reliability analysis, drag all these items of a specific construct. Here we are considering six items of transfer of training. So just go to the step of six. And here you can see the option of scale if item deleted. Just click OK, continue, and then OK. And again, it is showing that this construct is consists of six items and Kronba alpha value is 0.792. And here you can see in the last column, the Kronba alpha is the item deleted. So it will tell you if you just delete a specific item, your Kronba alpha value will change. Like it will become if we delete TT1, then our Kronba alpha value will become 0.762. And in the same way, if our, uh, we delete TT6, then our Kronba alpha value will become 0.845. Please note that this particular option we, we only use if our Kronba alpha value is less than the threshold value and we need to delete the problematic items so then after deleting those items we can increase our corona bar alpha value uh, if you like my video please remember to subscribe my channel and if you have any questions any further question regarding reliability analysis you can write in the comment section thanks for watching